Hi, good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to AP Tech Tutorial. Today, I'm, I will show you how you can completely remove a user from your PC, from your computer. For the sake of this exercise, I'm, going, I'm using a Windows 11 PC. Uh, that's why you see all these, uh, these uh, beautiful colors. And, uh, but this uh, same solution can be applicable to any other operating system, Windows 7, Windows 10, or Windows 8.1. Okay, so uh, let's start. First, um, let's uh, s let's see the user that we want to get rid of. All right, so let's take a look here. First, let me just get rid of this uh, USB device that I have uh, attached to one of these uh, uh, devices. So I'm just going to click on eject, so we don't need to use it anymore. Okay, so um, this is uh, so you click on this computer or my computer, uh, depending on your case. Double click on the C drive, and this is where the users are. I have selected this user to, to be deleted, right? To be completely deleted. What are with the registry? That's what I recommend. So type on start and and type registry. And once you see registry editor, uh, run as the administrator. For those of you who have Windows 7 or Windows 10, right click on it and then run as administrator. So be careful with what you do here because you can render this computer useless if you delete something that you're not supposed to in the registry. So I'm just gonna show you and guide you exactly where you have to go. First, expand key local machine here. Go to expand software. On the software, expand Microsoft. On the Microsoft, go a little bit down. You can move with this uh, little bar here. Go to the bottom. You're going to be looking for Windows NT. Look for Windows NT. Then expand current version. And when you expand current version, you need to look for uh, profiles. Okay. So for the word profile, it's organized alphabetically. So look for profile, profile list right here. This is it. Okay. Now let me just move this a little bit further to the right so you can see. Uh, here I have the user administrator. It's important you do not delete that one, all right? Because that's the user you're logged in as right now, okay? Um, so uh, the other user is the one that we want to delete. So go ahead, uh, either uh, put your, your uh, the, the, the select the entire uh, key and hit delete on your keyboard. I usually, to be safe, just right click and go delete. It's gonna ask me, are you sure? Yeah, make sure you got the correct person, the, the correct user, and then select yes. And that user is going to be gone. Do not delete any of this, all right? Because these are system generated. Do not delete any of them because you can break, again, you can break the computer and render it useless. Now, just close the registry and then open again uh, Window X Frodo. Go to this PC, uh, double click on the local C drive, uh, select uh, double click on users right click and then or simply on your keyboard uh, select the uh, the key delete select delete i'm just going to do it through here i'm just going to go delete and we're going to see what's going to happen okay it says the action cannot be completed because the folder or a file is open in another program usually that happens and if you if you run into that uh, I usually recommend to uh, to restart, okay? So I'm just gonna close, pause the video for now, and then uh, restart this, uh, this. So I rebooted the machine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the window uh, x -Proto. I'm just gonna click on uh, this PC, again, because I rebooted uh, the USB drive in this join, I'm just gonna reject it, I mean, uh, eject it, uh, I don't need it there. So I'm just gonna double click on the C drive and then uh, make sure that you uh, click on double click on user and this is the guy that I want to delete. Right click on it and then delete and see what's happened. Boom, gone. That person is gone, that user is gone and that's the end of it. Uh, well, if you like the video, please uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have yourself a great day.